Hi, I'm Tom Thompson, head of the Department of Crop and Soil Environmental Sciences at Virginia Tech. And with me is Jay Hardwick, Virginia Tech golf coach. We're standing on the Pete Dye River course, home of the Virginia Tech golf team. Our players are consistently named to the All-Atlantic Coast Conference academic team. And we're here to help you create the lawn of your dreams, one stroke at a time. Aerating or the removing of plugs of soil from your lawn can help the soil to breathe. We use our lawns a lot. We have picnics, we play volleyball, kids and pets are running on the lawn. These activities compact the soil surface, making it difficult for the grass to grow. That's why it is important to help the soil breathe. Roots require oxygen to grow and absorb water and nutrients. When the soil compacts, it does not get enough air and water. This creates an unhealthy lawn. Tom, how do you know if your soil is compacted? Jay, make sure the soil is moist and probe it with a screwdriver. If you can push the screwdriver into the soil to three inches, you probably do not need to aerate. One of the easiest ways to aerate the soil is to core it. A coring machine, sometimes called a plugger, removes grass, soil, and roots to a depth of three inches. Be sure that the soil is moist before coring. Plugging a soil that is either too wet or too dry will not give good results. If you need to apply lime, seed, fertilizer, or compost, the aeration holes are a great way to move them into the soil. The plugs will eventually be broken down by rainfall or by mowing, or you can let them dry for a few hours and drag them back into the soil. Within a few days, you probably won't be able to tell the lawn was plugged. There are other benefits to aerating your lawn as well. You improve the health of the soil's microorganisms and earthworms. You enhance infiltration of rainfall or irrigation into the soil. You help prevent fertilizer and pesticide runoff from overly compacted areas. And be sure to aerate when the grass is actively growing so that it has time to heal. For cool season grasses like bluegrass, ryegrass, or fescue, coring should take place in the fall or spring. For warm season grasses like Bermuda, Zoysia, or St. Augustine, aerate in early to midsummer. Go to the Virginia Cooperative Extension website for more information and to find your local extension office.